Well, hello, all you crazy people out there. Today's Friday. I believe it's the 9th of September. Still hot as heck in here in Texas. So, today, I want to talk about what I call the gayest time of the year. And this is another red pill episode. Football season has started. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite time of the year. Not because I give a crap about football, but I love to see all of the racist rednecks that now fall in love with the black football players. They have their fantasy football leagues where they pretend to draft these large ebony gods that they can have on their team these big strong black men and they put them in those really tight football pants and have them bend over and put their little hand right up underneath their little sack and get that football hiked <clears throat> and it's so gay to see grown men walk around wearing shirts with other men's names on them. It's like you're the property of some football player. And it's so like if you're believe if you're like a big football fan, you're the biggest loser asleep in the matrix. You know, you call it that's my team. They don't give a shit about you. All these football players care about is their next contract. These guys, I just heard about a contract where a guy's making $55 million a year. They don't care about you. They're only, they only care about their contracts. They're, they play on a team. It's not your team. Like I have a friend that her and her family, she has two sons, so there's four of them. And they go to one Dallas Cowboy game a year. And the last time I told her, I spoke to her, she told me that it cost her over a thousand dollars to go to one Dallas Cowboy. She said it cost a hundred dollars just to park. And these people think that this is their team. I remember when they built the new Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, they made the city. The residents pay taxes. And Jimmy Jones is a billionaire. And the Cowboys are the most expensive franchise in the world. And they subsidize the building of that stadium through taxpayers. It's such a scam. And what I think is funny is as much as Americans hate socialism, even though America is full of socialism, football is the most socialist program out there they have a salary cap socialism the team that wins the Super Bowl gets the last pick the loser team gets the first pick do you understand that's socialism when it comes to NFL TV revenue they put all of the money into one pile and then divvy it out do you see what I'm talking about for all you idiots out there that hate socialism, football is socialism. And then the thing that I think is funny is when the Super, Super Bowl happens, people call them the world champs. No, they're not. They're the stupid American champs. The only world champ sport is soccer where every nation plays. Football is just America's stupid ass pastime. Nobody cares in the rest of the world. Nobody cares over in Europe football is soccer you know the rest of the world it's soccer um it's just so dumb but I love all these racist rednecks that they hate black people except when it comes to football season then they they got to watch the college ball my grandpa was like that he was such a goober and the other thing that I think is hilarious is I live in Texas Texas is such a high school football idiotic state we're like last in everything. We're last in education. We're last in health care. We're last in everything. But there's a school outside of Houston. Has less than a thousand students in the school. And they just built a football stadium. $30 million. 
thirty million dollars for a school less than a thousand students. And most kids can't read or write or do math. America is last. India and China is kicking our ass when it comes to education. They produce more doctors and more engineers than we have in the past 50 years. They do it in one year. But we got that football, you know. And like I said, it is the gayest time of the year. It's just old white dudes that get drunk, sit on the couch on Sunday. I thought they loved Jesus, but they don't go to church during football season. Sit there with their big fat beer guts and drink their uh, Budweiser and uh, watch men tackle one another wearing tight white pants. And they all bend over in that four-point stand and mm, so good. But it's just like there's this famous Roman saying that if you give the people bread and circuses, they'll never revolt. And that's all sports is. That's our football is. A stadium, a football stadium is nothing more than the Coliseum. It's just a distraction. It's, it's a form of control. Again, we have the Matrix. And these people just buy into it. And they call it their team. And they spend hundreds of dollars on stupid jerseys so they can walk around and be some football player's bitch with their name on their back of their shirt. And it's just so gay. So gay. It even sounds fantasy football league. That sounds like some gay porno. Fantasy football league. Jesus Christ. But yeah, that's America. America is so stupid. But yeah, football, total socialism. And these Americans just buy into it. America has to be filled with the stupidest people in the world. If it wasn't for our military, we would be... But if it came to intelligence, we would be the, the last country in the world. We're just so stupid. The only thing that we're good at is blowing shit up. We ain't good at anything else. But me, on the other hand, I don't give a shit about football. I haven't watched the Super Bowl. I can't even remember why. When? I don't watch no stupid Super Bowls. I don't give a fuck about the commercials because I'm not buying your stupid ass products. But yeah. It's that time of the year, the gayest time of the year. The, the time of the year where my eyes glaze over when I go to work and co-workers try to talk to me about football. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And they're like, hey, did you see the Cowboys, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, no, I didn't see that. Well, did you see this? I'm like, nope, didn't see that either. I don't care. I don't care. You know, I wish that Texas would spend $30 million on math teachers. Instead of $30 million on some stupid ass stadium. Because it's all about money. It should be illegal. You know, schools get federal dollars. It should be illegal that they make money off of football. Because that's why it's funded so much by the schools. Because they make money off of it. Schools that get federal dollars should not be for profit. I hate it. I hate it. And then we look around and this is why the world is so fucked up. This is why people are so stupid. This is why it's so easy for these MAGA idiots to talk about conspiracy theories, QAnon, because people are so dumb. They believe this shit. This is why Trump says he loves the poorly educated because America is poorly educated. Ugh. But, like I said, if you want to escape the Matrix, you just got to let it go. I don't spend no money on it. I don't watch it because I know it's just more of the matrix and more of being asleep and being a sheep. So this is David Zoe Zizzles hanging out in the pool. It's Friday. Ugh. What the hell? I feel like I live in crazy world. I hate it here so much. Today was trending World War III. I don't even believe in God, but God, please allow World War III to happen. Please, just blow up everybody. I want everybody to melt and turn to puddles. 
I hope COVID comes back and I hope it's a thousand times more deadly and kills like, I want it to be like the Black Death. I wish there was a way. I think that like anybody with an IQ less than 100, we should just shoot in the back of the head. But that's me, Mr. Happy. I'm out of here.